Hello and welcome to the projects using react.js and flux course. In this course we will be creating 10 different applications using react.js and the flux architecture. So there will be 10 sections and there's a project in each section. There will be 4 to 7 lectures per section and lectures will include one video and also any project files that are included in that lecture. All right, so what you should know before taking this course, you should at least know some HTML and CSS, although CSS not so much because we'll be using Bootstrap and some other uh, CSS frameworks along the way. JavaScript, at least the basics, uh, programming fundamentals, so things like variables, arrays, loops, um, conditionals, things like that. jQuery and Ajax is not required, but it, it can help you out because we will be using jQuery and Ajax to, uh, to fetch data from uh, other APIs. All right, so some of the technologies and concepts we'll be working with, application UI and views, data stores, uh, events and actions. Okay, these are all part of the Flux architecture. Uni unidirectional data, jQuery and Ajax. We'll be working with some uh, NoSQL databases such as Firebase and MongoLab. Um, we'll be using HTML5 local storage in one of the projects. We'll be fetching data from JSON APIs including GitHub and DuckDuckGo uh, and also application state and properties which have to do with React.js. So here's a very quick overview of the projects. Project 1 will be kind of a starter project. It'll basically just be uh, a couple different static bootstrap components just to get you familiar with React and how to create React components. Um, project 2 will be a GitHub profile viewer where we fetch data from the GitHub API and we'll use React for the UI. Quick Quiz will be uh, a simple React quiz application. We'll have Movie Find which will work with the OMDB API to fetch uh, movies from the database. Contact List, we'll be creating a contact list and we'll have uh, Firebase as our database. Sticky pad notes will be a really simple to do list with sticky pad background images. Uh, info finder search will be a simple search engine that will use the DuckDuckGo API to fetch data. YouTube gallery will be a, a simple video gallery where we can enter the ID of the YouTube video and add it to our gallery. Socket IO chat will be a chat application where we can enter our username and users can uh, send messages over web sockets. And then the final project will build a workout logger which will have a mobile friendly interface and will also use local storage which is also uh, pretty mobile friendly. Alright so those are the 10 projects. Hopefully you guys enjoy them and I will see you in the first project.